Now, last Tuesday, I won the election against tremendous odds. This Tuesday, the odds may be stacked even higher against Bruce Poliquin. The incumbent Republican congressman leads his nearest challenger, Democrat Jared Golden, by about 2,000 votes after the first round of voting. But under Maine's new ranked choice voting system, subsequent rounds of tabulation may tip the scales in Golden's favor, ousting an incumbent in this district for the first time in a century. What we're trying to figure out is if the ranked voting process is legal under federal law in electing a federal public official. Team Poliquin filed a federal lawsuit today asking a judge to declare the congressman the winner and to declare ranked choice voting unconstitutional. We asked why Poliquin didn't challenge the new rules before election day. Well, the courts don't get involved, Paul, as you know, in, in the dealing with theory. They get involved when there's a result. But the legislature did ask Maine's highest court for an opinion regarding the legality of ranked choice voting for state elections before any ballots were cast. The court issued an opinion and the legislature changed the law. That's why Mainers do not use ranked choice voting in general elections for state office, like governor. Jared Golden's campaign manager says, Bruce Poliquin knew the rules going into this election. The Secretary of State must count every vote according to Maine law until a majority winner is clear. Secretary of State Matt Dunlap says for now, the tabulation will continue. We have no mechanism to stop doing what we're doing until we are told to stop doing what we're doing by a judge. We will be at that morning hearing in Bangor and bring you updates throughout the day. For now, in Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News.